Hey what's up guys, my name is Suka Outfire and today I'm going to be talking about the state of CSGO once again and why I think the developers need to put in a lot more work into the game. Because compared to other game developers, CSGO is really lacking behind on a ton of different things. First of all, let's talk about CSGO's funding to esports. If we look at other big esports titles right now, the prize pools are absolutely insane. Both Dota 2's International and Fortnite's World Cup currently have a prize pool of over 30 million dollars, which is just absolutely insane. For Fortnite, it's not too surprising for them to have a big prize pool considering how well they've done this year, but some of you might not know how Dota 2 managed to make this year's international prize pool so big. Well, actually, it's not even really funded by the actual game developers, but more by the community. I've never played Dota 2, but I believe that when the players buy a battle pass, a percentage of the sales go towards the prize pool of the international. If CSGO did this, they could put a portion of the viewer pass sales which was the thing that they added during the last major towards the prize pool. Or even better, they could add a completely separate case which they used to do back in the early days of CSGO, call it an esports case added before every single major, and have a percentage of the key sales from that case to go towards the prize pool of the major. This would make the prize pool a lot bigger and make it completely community funded so Valve doesn't really lose anything from it. I along with a lot of other people consider CSGO the best esport to watch and the best first person shooter. And I think that the pros deserve so much more than what they're currently getting. I feel like majors really lose their meaning without having something that allows them to stand out from other tournaments. And especially now since the Intel Grand Slam exists, which if you didn't know, rewards a team with a million dollars if they win a certain amount of tournaments, it really doesn't make the majors stand out for CSGO anymore. Sure, they're sticking and stuff, but I really think there should be more. Now onto the next subject, which is CSGO devs not listening to the community. The CSGO community has asked for a ton of different things over the years. New operations, especially now, adjustments to trust factor and adjustments to the 7 day trade hold are probably some of the biggest. Along with fixing the matchmaking system that doesn't even rank you up after winning tons of games in a row, CSGO devs have just completely ignored the community for years. At first I wanted to say that the devs really weren't ignoring the community like they were taking stuff in, but they really don't seem to like be doing anything with it. Like CSGO matchmaking has been horrible for so many years and they just haven't done anything to fix it at all. There's been complaints this entire time. And for a game that's making hundreds of millions of dollars a year and for none of that to be going back into the esports scene or any like development of the game, like we haven't seen a big update in so long. Sure we got danger zone ranks, but what's the last big update you could remember before that? There's just so much stuff that needs to be fixed. And with a game that's been out for 7 years, I, it's kind getting late to fix some of this stuff. I think it's really time for CSGO devs to step it up. You'd think that they want to improve competitive which is the main game mode for CSGO after making the game free, but it seems like they're just gonna sit back and milk CS for all the money that it's worth. because. That's I guess what they've been doing for years at this point. But besides that, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I know you guys have a ton of stuff to say about this. I'm always getting comments about how certain things about CSGO suck, like Trust Factor or whatever, but there's really nothing I could do. It's all on the game developers at this point. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.